Our story begins in ancient Egypt. The Jews were enslaved by Pharaoh, and all they could do was Now, although they were enslaved, the Jews were still producing far too many children for Pharaoh's liking. He wanted them to stop. But the Jews said, So, Pharaoh tells Jewish midwives to kill all the Jewish males. He's like, Pharaoh decides he will kill them all by drowning them when they are first born. He thinks the solution is, Yohevid, a Jewish woman, gives birth to her son Moses three months earlier than expected. To save him from an early death, she puts him in a basket and sends him Eventually, Pharaoh's daughter finds the basket, and when she discovers the baby, she decides to adopt him and to name him Moses. She says, As Moses grows older, he discovers the hardship faced by the Jews. When Pharaoh finds out about his leniency towards them, he tells Moses, Moses goes away from the Pharaoh's palace and becomes a shepherd. While tending to his flock, he sees a burning bush. He's watching it. Upon closer inspection, he realizes this bush is God trying to communicate with him. God tells Moses to go to Pharaoh and demand that he let the Jews go. Moses isn't sure, but still, he says, Moses goes back to Egypt to see Pharaoh and asks him to, Let it go, let it go. But Pharaoh says, No, no, no. Moses responds, I will give up. No, no, no. But Pharaoh keeps refusing, and God decides it's time to step in. He sends ten plagues. The water in the Nile River turns to blood. Frogs overrun the land. Lice infest all men and beasts. Wild animals invade the cities. A pestilence kills all the domestic animals. Painful boils affect all the Egyptians. Seven. Devastating hail descends from the sky. A swarm of locusts devour all the crops and greenery. Nine. Darkness envelopes all of Egypt. Ten. All the firstborn of Egypt are killed at the stroke of midnight on the 15th of the month of Nisan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten. The 10th and worst plague causes Pharaoh to finally give in. He says the Jews are free to go. The Jews were so excited, they would finally be able to leave Egypt. But they had to move quickly in case Pharaoh changed his mind. They didn't even have time to let their bread. Instead, they made matzah. As the Jews started to leave Egypt, Pharaoh had another change of heart. He ordered his guards to catch them. As the Jews reached the sea, the guards followed in hot pursuit. To help his people outrun them, God split the sea for them. As all the Jews ran through, he closed the watery path again, and the guards were stuck behind. The Jews thanked God and said, Hallelujah. The end.